So it looks like in core AI, we are riding these exponential curves and we've got more to ride. Um, can I ask a question about the confluence with the other exponential technologies? So we've been talking about AI and bio, but there's fusion, there's quantum. Mm -hmm. What do you see that coming together of the triumvirate looking like? And how do, you, how do we think about maintaining competitiveness in all three so that we're, we advance the, all those at the same pace? I don't think we're going to be able to keep at the same pace. Um, to some degree, because the AI revolution is essentially math, and it's governed by essentially three scaling laws. So it looks like in core AI, we are riding these exponential curves and we've got more to ride. No one yet, I've asked this many times, no one yet has seen those limits. So it looks like those exponentials are gonna go quite a bit faster than the others. Um, so if you look at fusion, for example, AI is necessary for all fusion designs and all fusion man management, especially the plasma, but the core science is not running on an exponential. So we'll get there, but I think AI is gonna lead first. The reason I chose programming and math as opposed to the hard sciences, or I guess they're, they're hard, but the other hard sciences, is that uh, programming and math are scale free. In other words, there's no hardware constraint. It's just if you have enough electricity, you can just do more math programs. That's why I think it'll burst there first and then diffuse into the other fields.